Uh, Dino Valentine is back again for my last video. This is uh, a Beatles 45 update, um, pretty major update to be fair. Um, some of you may see that I posted in the Facebook uh, these uh, vinyl community page um, some pictures of some Beatles 45s that I picked up yesterday. Um, so what I've done is I've separated them all down into first press, second press, and whatever else press. Um, now. A little um, side note here, I am not 100% sure if these are all what they are, I'm just going off what Discog say, so if I say something wrong or I, you know, show something that is incorrect, uh, just please let me know, um, I don't pretend to know everything about um, Beatles releases and um, when, what dates and the rest of it, um, what makes it a first press, what makes it a second press, I'm literally only going off of what Discog says, so whether Discog is right or not. I don't mind being told I'm wrong, just don't slate me for it. Um, okay, so basically the way this came about was I was had a bit of time to kill yesterday morning while I was waiting for my car, um, so I went to a little market uh, in Swindon that I know of. Um, haven't been there for years, but I went there. Uh, it's a normal sort of food market type stuff. You know, you can get household stuff there. Um, you know, food and uh, you know cleaning products and all that kind of normal sort of stuff you get in a market. So. But they do sometimes have um, storeholders selling sort of brick and brack and records and whatever else. And there were shitloads of records there, but they were all sort of charity shop records, what I call. Um, so not a great deal. But there was this one store. This guy was selling lots of brick and brack. Um, but uh, he was. Um, he had this little box, and it was a little box of gold in my eyes, because um, basically it was just full of Beatles stuff, uh, Beatles 45s. Um, so straight away I just asked him how much he wanted for the whole box, he said, um, he said, basically what the price is on each label is what I want, so in that respect he wasn't, you know, he, he wasn't moved, there was no leeway, because um, I thought well if I offer him sort of 50, 60 quid for the lot he might take it, um, but no, he said whatever is in there, what the price is, the price is. Lucky enough they weren't too expensive, they were between like £1 and £3 a record, um, so basically I spent about half an hour digging through them uh, one by one just making sure that they were in half decent condition and they weren't sort of shot to shit and you know really scratched up and beat up and also sort of separated all the sort of doubles because there were a few doubles in there um, and yeah we come to an agreement on the payment um, and I bought a few other little bits off of him nothing major um, some Scylla Black, some um, Billy Kramer the Dakotas, um, Peter Gordon, stuff that has um, they're basically they were records that had um, they sung Paul McCartney's Paul and uh, McCartney and Lennon songs, so they were Beatles related, um, which I'll probably show in another video, but um, I'm not going to show them today because too much to get through in these. So um, basically, what I'm going to do, um, I'll show you the first presses that I've got, um, second presses, and everything else I got. Okay, so um, I'll just rattle through them because you you know that you know the songs, most the majority of you anyway. Um, like I said, this is um, if I get something wrong. Don't shoot me. I like I say, I'm not. I don't profess to be in a massive um, knowledge on uh, this. So um, here goes. Um, so first up, uh, she loves you, and uh, I'll get you. This is the, these are all the first presses. This all the ones you see now are first presses, uh, according to Discogs. Um, so this was from 1963. Um, this was the push out center. Quite nice. Um, I say these. This one and that's uh, sorry the original original company sleeves that came with them other than the picture sleeves so if you didn't get a picture sleeve you got this one as well so but still the first press um, now original record first press record not sure about the sleeve because um, from what I've researched I've done these were the original sleeves so um, not unless it changed but if, if it did you can tell me um, yeah, this is Don't Let Me Down and uh, Get Back, or Get Back, Don't Let Me Down, which is pretty cool. Um, this is Something and Come Together from 1969. Uh, that might be, because these, these labels might have changed in 69 when they went from Parlophone to Apple. That's probably what it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the later ones are on Apple, um, but these are first presses on Apple. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the Ballad of John and uh, John and Yoko and Old Brown Shoe, um, 1969. Um, this one is Strawberry Fields Forever, uh, 1967, and Penny Lane. Um, these are cool little adverts on the back. Um, 
that's advertising the lady's lipstick apparently. That's pretty cool. Um, paperback writer and rain uh, from 1966. Advertising Morphe Richards hairdryers on the back of that one. And um, we can work it out. And day tripper. Um, oh yeah, on Parlophone. All of these, uh, all of these ones are on Parlophone. And next up, uh, Lady Madonna and the Inner Light from 1968. I should have really put all these in chronological order. I do apologise. Um, this is another Parlophone uh, one. This is Hello Goodbye and I Am the Walrus from 1967. Parlophone push out centre. Um, this is again another copy. This is my own copy. I just bunged it in there. Uh, this is Paperback Writer and Rain again from uh, 1966. Um, original copy. Uh, sorry, first press copy. Um, from Me to You and Thank You Girl um, from 1963. That one. Uh, help and uh, I'm down from 1965. Uh, I want to hold your hand and this boy 1963. I feel fine and she's a woman um, 1964. She loves you and I'll get you uh, 1963 again. Uh, hard day's night and things we said today uh, 1964 uh, I want to hold your hand and this boy again um, again that must have been a, a copy a double I've got as well um, from 1963 uh, this is ticket to ride and yes it is for 1965 and the last one is can't buy me love and you can't do that uh, from 1964 parlophone so that was all the first presses according to Discogs. I repeat, according to Discogs. Um, so next up is the second presses according to Discogs. Um, this is um, Please Please Me, um, which had the push out centre and somebody's pushed out. So it's Please 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 Me and Ask Me Why from 1963, but again, second, second press. Um, all you need is love and baby you're a rich man um, 1967 second press um, let it be 1970 um, and you know my name look up the number um, 1970 yeah 1970 second press um, yellow submarine and Eleanor Rigby um, 1966 second press again with the Morphe Richards advertisement on the back pretty cool and um, so that's those ones the next ones I uh, picked up these are the ones from the 76 they were reissued in 70, 1976 as a part of the singles collection um, so I have a few of these um, this is these come in these nice green sleeves um, and they're um, Parlophone and the EMI and Apple all on there at some point um, if that makes any sense. Basically the cover's got either Apple, Parlophone and it also on the bottom there has EMI. Um, but yeah, this is back in the USSR and Twist and Shout. Um, cover on the back there of the original, what would have been the original. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, Help and the B-side of Van Down. That one there. I say all of these... Uh, these ones have a Parlophone label on them, so that was pretty cool. I suppose the later ones will have um, Apple on them. Um, Love Me Do and P.S. I Love You. And those ones there. Again, nice parlophone, push out centre. And this one, uh, this is one that I got on a VCLT from um, Mod Central, Will at Mod Central, but I just put it in there with the rest of them in their collection now. Um, All You Need Is Love and Baby You're a Rich Man. Um, so that was pretty cool. So that's the 76 collection ones. Um, now these last lot are picture discs, that's why picture discs, picture sleeves um, from ranging from 83 to 85. Uh, so basically re released them. Um, I'll just go on these quickly. This is Ticket to Ride, and yes, it is. My picture on that here. Um, Hard Day's Night and Things We Said Today. Um, help. And I'm down. Uh, yesterday, 
and I should have known better. Um, she loves you. Um, I get you. That one. I want to hold your hand and this boy. Um, from me to you, um, and thank you, girl. Can't buy me love, and you can't do that. Uh, please, please me, and ask me why. Um, nice copy of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band with a little help from my friend, and a day in the life. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, Love Me Do with P.S. I Love You. Um, so as you can imagine, I was pretty stoked to get those. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, you may say why. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Whether I'm going to keep them or... I don't know. I don't know. Um, any suggestions if you think... I should keep hold of them, or I think it might be worth moving them on. I don't know. Um, I also got this. This is a little funny one. Um, this is I Klein Beatles music, and basically it's called Baroque and Roll Ensemble, and it's uh, classical music put to the hits of the Beatles. So you have um, Introducing She Loves You, I'll Get You, A Hard Day's Night, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Please Please Me, and All My Loving done in a Baroque style classical music. I listened to it, um, I couldn't really tell if it was Beatles or not, you couldn't really make it out, but um, apparently it is. Um, I just got it in, he, he threw it in with it, so um, it's not worth anything, I've checked, <laughs> um, but it might be just a collection filler for somebody, I don't know. Um, and on the other side it's got um, uh, stuff by Wagner and um, God knows what. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it's alright. Somebody might be interested in it, just not me. Uh, so there's that. Um, and last but not least, I bought this today. Um, yeah, this is the Beatles, again, uh, with Strawberry Fields Forever, uh, Penny Lane, with an original picture sleeve. Um, sleeves have seen better days, I might try and give that a bit of an iron. Uh, but the record's pretty good. Uh, this is on Parlophone, this is 1967, um, with a solid centre. Um, I believe this can, these can go for some good money. Um, I picked this up, the guy gave me this pretty cheap today, he gave me it for a tenner. Um, I've seen it book priced f but anywhere between 40 to 75 quid. Um, so, a bit of an investment that one, uh, just nice to have. Um, but like I say, so. 30 minutes. Um, nice to say, like I say, nice to have. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, I might put them up as one big collection and see what I can get for them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll have to think about it. I'm going to have to sit and uh, weigh it up really because there are other albums. I've, I'm not. I've, I've bought singles. I've only been having this discussion today with my friend. You know, what are we? Are we singles collectors? Are we LP collectors? Um, and I'd like to get my LP collection going a bit more. Because um, it's easy to buy 45s, I, I find them so much all the time, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I, I have to think about this one. Um, but if I do put it up for sale, I'll let you guys know first, um, and we can go from there. Alright, well thanks guys, um, it's been great sharing my uh, collections of what I bought the last couple of weeks uh, with you. Um, I look forward to some more videos. Um, if you have any comments, please put them down there on the bottom there. And uh, yeah, great to see you guys. Alright, thanks. Bye.